let us now solve a question based on circumcenter. The question here says if S is the circumcenter of a triangle ABC and angle A is 50 degrees, then what is the value of angle BCS? Right? So a very simple question there. ABC is a triangle with S as a circumcenter. Angle A is 50 degrees. We need to find out the measure of angle BCS. Let's consider a triangle ABC. Right? Let's say the triangle ABC is as follows here. A B and C and S is the circumcenter. So let's consider S as the circumcenter. Now what is circumcenter? Circumcenter is uh, the center of that circle which can pass through all the three vertices or circumcenter is the center of that circle which circumscribes the triangle A, B and C. Right? So let's draw the circumcircle here with S as the center. So it passes through all the three vertices A, B and C. And we also know that angle A here is 50 degrees. This angle is 50 degrees. Okay. Now, see, it is very clear that the circumcenter should be equidistant from all the three vertices. Only then that circle can pass through all the three vertices. Right? Circumcenter S will be equidistant from A, B, and C. All right. So we can say that SB will be equal to SC will be equal to SA. Right? All these three are nothing but the radius of the circle here. Right? S. To B, S is the center of the circle, B is a point in the circle. From the center of the circle to any point is the radius. C is also a point in the circle, A is also a point in the circle. So clearly S, B, S, C and S, A, all these three are nothing but the radius of the circle. And hence, all these three have to be equal. So S, B is equal to S, C is equal to S, A. All these three are equal. Now, if S, B is equal to S, C, their opposite angles will also be equal. Right? If the two sides are equal, their opposite angles will be equal. Which means angle S, B, C will be equal to angle SCB, right? Or angle, uh, you know, uh, BCS will be equal to angle CBS. These two angles will be equal. And as per the question, we are required to find out the uh, value of angle BCS. BCS. So this angle is equal to what is the question? And we very well know that this angle is equal to the other angle. Now, going by the point that we have learned uh, during the discussion of circumcenter, the point was that the angle made by any side with the circumcenter is twice the vertical angle. Now, if you consider the side BC, the angle made by the side BC with circumcenter, what is that angle made? This angle here. This angle is twice the vertical angle. What is the vertical angle? 50 degrees. So, if you take any side of a triangle, the angle made by that side with the circumcenter should be two times the vertical angle. That is the opposite angle there. So, opposite angle is 50 degrees. This should be two times of 50 degrees, right? So, we can say angle BSC should be equal to two times of angle A, which is 2 into 50 degrees or 100 degrees. See, I am just writing this step so that I can explain it to you clearly. As such, when we solve the question in the exam, you can directly put 100 degrees in this case. Right, twice of this angle. If this is 60, this would be 120. If this is 45, this will be 90. If this is 40, this would be 80. As simple as that. Now, we need to find out this particular angle here. See, we know that sum of all these three angles has to be 180 degrees. In the triangle BCS, all the interior angles have to add up to 180 degrees. This already is 100 and these two are equal. Can we say that the angle is 40 degrees and 40 degrees here? Yes, that's very easy. So we can say this angle C here is 40 degrees, which means angle BCS, BCS as required in the question will be equal to 40 degrees. Or if you want me to put the step here, it will be as follows. In the triangle BCS, in the triangle BCS, sum of all the interior angles has to be 180 degrees. So I can say this angle 100 degrees plus angle, uh, you know, CBS angle CBS plus angle uh, BCS BCS should be 180 degrees all these three angles now angle CBS is equal to angle BCS right these two angles are equal because they are uh, angles opposite to the two sides which are equal right angles opposite to the two sides which are equal should be equal now if these two are equal we can say angle CBS is equal to angle BCS so CBS can be replaced with BCS now two times of angle BCS will be 180 minus 100, 180 degrees minus 100 degrees, right? This 100 comes on this side and these two are equal. So we are replacing CBS with BCS. So two times of BCS plus BCS, two times of BCS is 180 minus 100, which is equal to 80 degrees. So from this, finally, we can say angle BCS equals to 180 minus 100, 80, 80 by 2, 40 degrees. All right. So that's how you can put down the steps 
uh, to get the required answer but if you have followed the point and the concept there without writing any of these steps we can simply you know do this mental calculations and mark the answer it's very easy if this is 50 this has to be 100 and these two angles are equal some of these two angles should be 80 because 100 plus 80 should be 180 some of the interior angles if total is 80 and both are equal it should be 40 and 40 each so that's how we can answer questions based on these type of questions based on a circumcenter there. So the important point to be remembered here is that the angle made by any side with the circumcenter will be two times the vertical angle.